Fierce battles raged outside Bamut as Russian forces pushed their advance on the eastern city with heavy shelling and infantry attacks. Bamut is the bloodiest front of the war in Ukraine, which makes it about the most dangerous place on Earth right now. The fight has been raging here since November, the longest battle of the war. In the center of the city, I am embedded with a Ukrainian Special Forces unit, just a few hundred meters from the Russian soldiers who are determined to kill anyone who stands in their way. During the day, soldiers of the State Border Guard Service of Ukraine repelled two attacks and destroyed an enemy assault group near Bamut, as a result of which nine Russian invaders were killed and five more were wounded. The border guard's mortars, according to the coordinates provided by the aerial reconnaissance, inflicted fire damage on the positions of the Russians and their movement troops. Ukrainian defenders stopped the infantry attacks with machine guns, grenade launchers, and with the help of mortar fire. One of the assault groups was eliminated by DPSU soldiers in close combat. In the struggle for position, the enemy suffered many losses. As reported by Ukraine Forum, the Ukrainian defense forces from the 24th of February 2022 to date have destroyed around 148,130 Russian invaders and 660 in just one day of fighting. For Russia, it's been a year of bold charges and bombardments, humiliating retreats, and grinding sieges. Ukraine has counted with fierce resistance, a surprising counter-offensive, and unexpected hit and run strikes. Now, on the anniversary of Russia's invasion that has killed tens of thousands and reduced cities to ruins, both sides are preparing for a potentially even more disastrous phase that lies ahead. Russia recently intensified its push to capture all of Ukraine's eastern industrial heartland of the Donbass. Kyiv and its western allies also say Moscow could try to launch a wider, more ambitious attack elsewhere along the more than 1,000-kilometer, 600-mile front line. In recent months, Russian forces have tried to encircle the Ukrainian stronghold of Bahamut and push deeper into the Donetsk region, along with fulfilling its goal of capturing the entire Donbass. Moscow aims to wear down Ukrainian forces and prevent them from starting offensives elsewhere. Bamut has become an important symbol of tenacity for Ukraine, as well as a way to tie up and destroy the most capable Russian forces. Both sides have used up ammunition at a rate unseen in decades. The presidential office said the situation in Bakhmut's northern suburb of Paraskoviyevk is difficult as Russian forces continued to pummel the area with intense shelling and storming actions. The nearby town of Vuladar is also under heavy bombardment. Meanwhile, Russian troops fighting in Ukraine have said they are being sent to the slaughter in a recorded message for President Vladimir Putin. Mobilized soldiers from the Siberian region of Irkutsk said they had been sent into battle without any support, including weaponry, ammunition, and intelligence, according to independent Russian investigative outlet, The Insider. Putin announced a partial mobilization for the war effort in September 2022. On February 5, 2023, the Washington-based Institute for the Study of War, a think tank suggested Putin had delayed mobilization plans despite a depleted military. Putin is evidently reticent to announce a second wave of mobilization, the think tank said, owing to the extreme unpopularity of the first wave of mobilization. Putin's reluctance to publicly order a second wave may indicate a preference for silent mobilization, the ISW added. But the mobilized Irkutsk soldiers reported to have initially served as territorial defense troops before moving to a brigade in the highly contested Donetsk region of eastern Ukraine, said they were sent into battle without preparation, according to the insider. The fighters were ordered to storm the Donetsk city of Avdiivka in assault units. Avdiivka has been the focus of Russian offensive operations in recent weeks 
and Ukraine's general staff reported on Sunday that the country's armed forces had repelled attacks on the city over the past 24 hours. The mobilized Russian soldiers, under orders from separatist commanders from the Donetsk region, were sent to storm the Avdiivka fortified area without any support, artillery, communications, sappers, or reconnaissance, one unnamed fighter told the Russian outlet. They were sent to the slaughter, he added. The soldier described an attitude of Russian soldiers being expendable in the minds of anonymous commanders, with sustaining injuries being the only option of getting home alive. The true death toll of Russian soldiers in Ukraine is unknown. However, an estimate from the British Defense Ministry on February 17 put the number of Russian military and mercenary fighters killed at up to 60,000. The number of Russian casualties may have reached 200,000, the government department added. The casualty rate significantly increased after September's partial mobilization, it said. Да, блядь, туда. Андрей!